In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Mary was much perplexed by his word and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be, since I am too young to have children? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in its way. Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. God, I am a righteous man, and I am unwilling to expose Mary to public disgrace. I will dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. I will do as the angel of the Lord has commanded me. I will take Mary as my wife, and will have no marital relations with her until she has borne a son, and we will name him Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration. All went to their own towns to be registered. I must go from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because I descended from the house and family of David. Joseph went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. Joseph, it is time. Do you have any room in your inn? Don't you know there is a census? We don't have any room in our inn. Do you have any room in your inn? My wife is with child. I am sorry. We have no room in the inn. Do you have any room in your inn? My wife and I will take whatever you have. She is with child. I have no room in my inn, but I do have a stable, and you are welcome to stay in there. There was no room in the inn, so Mary gave birth to her son in the stable and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not fear, for see, I bring you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those whom he favors. Let us now go to Bethlehem, and see this thing to which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the child lying in the manger.
King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people of Israel. Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. After speaking with King Herod, we set out to follow the star. Ahead of us went the star that we had seen at its rising, and it seemed to stop over a stable. We were overwhelmed with joy. On entering, we saw the child and Mary, his mother, and we knelt to pay homage. Accept a gift of gold to recognize your kingship on earth? Will you accept a gift of frankincense to recognize your deity? Will you accept a gift of myrrh to recognize your sacrifice? For to us a child is born. To us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.